involved in a training program to learn different methods of preserving fish. The program, which is organized by Green Coda and funded by the Organization of American States OAS, is aimed at equipping the women with skills that can be used to create employment in the fishing industry. Facilitator of the program, Mr. Goldbin, gives a demonstration on the technique used to debone fish. Right now we finish that side. So we take off the skin from it. That is closed, as the old people say. And now we we deep on the fish. We deep on the fish now from the After deboning, the participants salted the fish and placed them in a four-chamber solar dryer. Senior Fisheries Officer in the Ministry of Agriculture, Johnson St. Louis, explains how the insulator will be used to dry the fish. The glass that you see in here will allow for 30% penetration of the sunlight, which the heat wave will travel up that chamber here and go into this funnel. And what you see there, the wire mesh will allow for a proper circulation of the air and the heat and then um, it's covered by a, a chimney what the chimney does is that it stabilizes the air and the heat in the chamber to allow it um, as you know fresh fish as well as salted fish is full of protein but if you have too much heat that will destroy the protein in the fish so you want a good um, protein product when finished. The participants were engaged in three weeks of theory sessions with officials from the ministry and are now into the practical sessions. Two of the participants, Emmeline Blesdill and Molly Phillip, speaks of what they learned from the training sessions. How to bone the fish, how to skin it, how to slice it, to put it to dry, how to put the salt, what salt, what method of salt. Among the salt, I learn a lot of things. I learn how to like fillet the fish, how to put the salt into it. Well, first, when well, 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 we um, fillet the fish, we learn to slice the fish, which is just seeing the different slices. Then we do the salting. Then we put it to soak like in one of these white tops. We have it for like three days. And this morning we put them out for drying. Right. So I think I enjoy doing it. Participant Grisilla Fraser says the women plan to start a viable industry from the training they receive. In this business, I see that we, if we put ourselves into a cooperative, we could be generators of saltfish to Grenada. Senior project officer at Grand Coda, Danley Alexis, says Grand Coda will now take this project to another level by equipping the participants with the proper skills to manage a business. This aspect is just a skills training and we will be going further because there is a business component to that project where we teach them in terms of managing whatever business they might want to get into. I mean, already the girls are talking about forming a cooperative on their own, like coming together and doing that on their own. And that aspect of it, Green Coda is willing to assist them in terms of getting further training and putting all the system in place to ensure that that happens. But I uh, see there is a business component where we will, at a classroom level again, where we will teach them all the aspect of managing a business and all of that aspect because it's pointless in giving them that training and they don't have the necessary business skills to go with it. So that aspect is coming. One of the young fishermen in the area, Matthew Jerome, complimenting the initiative. Yeah, I would love to see it rise right up to the top because I watch it like safe employment for themselves and helping other fishermen in the situation just the same way. Oslin Crosby, CC6 Newsnight. Much more on CC6 News Night when we return. The second segment of CC6 News Night came to you compliments Steel's Auto, Agents for Suzuki.
balloon. Make sure you come and dunk to see, to see, to see. There is a big chance to live a new life. Come to Kariku Maroon and String Band Music Festival, April 29th to May 1st, 2011. Eat the smoke food of our ancestors. Drums will spit, sweet strings will captivate. It's a unique festival of the people filled with authentic cultural education and pure entertainment for the whole family. Living will not be the same after this massive life-changing festival. Make your reservations now. Call 473-443-7948 or visit our website www.caricumaroon.com Caricumaroon Make sure you come and down to see you love his music. You love his moves. So come dance to the beat. When happenings in association with Flow CC6 present Smooth Moves, a song and dance competition celebrating the music of Michael Jackson. Come support your favorite contestant as they vie for fantastic prizes. Smooth Moves is happening at the Grenadian by Rex Resort, Saturday, June 25th from 10 p.m. Early bird tickets are now available for only $40 at Seasons Fashion St. George's. Pieces Boutique in Grand Dance, Giddens Drug Mart Grand Dance, Dominic Shopping Center in Guam, Lady Cindy Shop Satez, and Tillock Distributors Grenville. Additional sponsorship by the Grenadian by Rex Resort, Digicel, GrenadaBroadcast.com, Duty Free Caribbean, Netherlands Insurance, and YET Rentals and Company. Two player tickets, please. Money and beautiful woman. Man, you win? Yeah, man, I catch them, man. Whoa. Grab second chances at winning while learning about the NLA in our exciting Know Your Lotteries quiz. That's right. Answer the NLA's question of the month in April, May, and June to be in with more chances to win big. Clearly write your name, address, and number, and the answer to the question on the paper provided at any of our partners. Staple two non-winning tickets from any game to it, then drop your entry in the branded box. Every month, the question changes. Check your lottery tickets, the media, and at our partners' locations for the questions. Five winners will be drawn monthly for winnings of up to $2,000 each month. That's $6,000 in total. So grab those second chances today. The more you the more chances you have. And remember, even if you don't win, Grenada always wins. NLA, supporting sports, culture, and nation building. Promotion ends June 30th. The general public is cordially invited to a health fair.